Hey everybody, this is Malabar TC1 coming at you with the newest live stream for the new year of 2020. We are playing some Star Ocean First Departure R, and I am super, 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 super excited to play this with everyone here. Let me just make sure my live chat is up, and I will also be giving away the $20 Google Play gift card at the not the end of this live stream, but this is the giveaway video to enter into it for this month. What's up, 64 Power? How are you doing? Hopefully awesome and amazing. And I will also be announcing last month's giveaway winner. So make sure you stick around for that as well. I'm just making sure that I have the live chat all up. Uh, it looks like uh, there's probably a little opening video, which will probably show when we go into the game anyways. So I don't want to start that off just yet. But giving everybody a minute to come on in. And uh, yeah, I'll be announcing the giveaway winner probably about 10 minutes into the video for last month's giveaway. And I'll give the rules for this month's giveaway in this video as well. So make sure you stick around for it and make sure you say hello. Hey, it looks like Jordan Nelson is saying hello. What's up? Hey, hey, how are you doing, Jordan Nelson? Woo woo. Okay, let's get right into it. We're starting this new game right now. Uh, sh sh portrait. Which portrait? Should I go with first departure? The first one or first departure are I'll probably do the updated ones oh in Japanese voice or English voices I'll do English voices what's up Napoleo how are you doing how are you doing awesome and amazing hey angelic dragon finally make it for the live stream hello hello welcome 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 we're gonna be starting first departure R right now should I I should probably go with the English voices right that just makes it easier for everybody <laughs> just woke up and got the notification nice Napoleo that's awesome yeah we're, we're let's sample the voice too Let's see. That's the updated voices. That's the old voices. My name's Oh, thank goodness. Sorry. Yeah. Shock. My name's Rod. Let's do let's do let's do the regular English voices. And for the portraits I'll use the new first departure first departure R. <laughs> yeah. Been waiting for the only Star Ocean game you've played till the end of time. Oh, nice. Nice. Fabulous. Oh no, anime. Goodbye? <laughs> what do you mean for that? Fabulous. Love Star Ocean and the Japanese voices. Oh, Ilya. Oh, Ilya. Nice, nice. Meteor Storm or whatever. Meteor Punch. <laughs> Get ready for streaming earlier. Oh, nice, nice. You stream. You were streaming with earlier on the City of Final Fantasy Opera Omnia. Yes, of course, of course. Well, I'm glad that you could make it for this video. And uh, confirming, we're going to go into it with this. I'm not going to do Japanese voices. That way people can understand what they're saying while we're doing it as well. So let's go into it. Um, Roddick, we'll just keep the names as they are for the characters. I don't think I changed them for any of the future ones either. So we'll just keep the names as they are. Okay, yes, Roddick. Let's go into this. I wonder if there's updated videos. Oh, they're just probably using the same anime ones. Departing high density Ooh. space at 1203. Set the coordinates to T50321. Roger. Roger. What do you say on screen? Something's wrong with now, I, I know this takes place after four, right? Or after five? Speed. I can't remember. <laughs> Made it into the gold club today in DFFOO. Nice, nice. Congratulations. <laughs> Now, this isn't the first time I've played Star Ocean First Departure, um, because I played about 20 live streams worth, or not live streams, of videos worth on the phone, and it, they were like 30 minute increments, so I'll probably get past that point very easily doing these PS4 live streams, but I've never beat the game. I've got about, I'd say maybe a third of the way through. Napoleo can confirm that, how far I got, but I had a lot of ways to still go. So the fact that I'm actually going to play this game all the way through and beat it on the PS4, that's going to be different, you know? <laughs> Star Ocean First Departure story began three... Yeah, there you go. After Star Ocean 4, yeah. It's hard to remember the order sometimes just because the order of the games is not the order of what it comes out. <laughs> like Star Ocean 3 is the last one. It's just, you know, it's weird. But yeah, this this will be cool playing first departure R with updated graphics. I mean, they're not completely updated. They're just kind of like finessed and look a lot better than they were, but yeah. This is some fun stuff. I'm glad that the that the video for this game is not blocked. I am so glad that they chose not to do that for that because that would just be so annoying if it was. But yeah, they kept it so it's that Man, it's not blocked. <laughs> I'm glad about hey, that. That's a good thing. And I'll probably go with different characters well. than I was going for before. 4125 Anamnesis really 3. <laughs> anyway? Yeah, there you go. There's what the order. Napoleo uh, knows let it. Let me give you a friendly warning. 
That girl's a total scatterbrain. She doesn't listen to anyone. <laughs> She's right behind you. She's just a total. <laughs> oh, slam. Uh, Millie. Mm. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> What's I, uh, really great is like the main character of this game isn't even like a somebody from the stars or somebody going from planet to planet. You know, he kind of just gets wrestled here, into this whole thing. You know, which is pretty cool. Oh, that's okay, 64 power. I love anime personally. So, <laughs> welcome, welcome. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoy it with me having fun with it too. So, ah, yeah. Look, the the graphics do look a lot better than they were on the phone. So this will be this will be nice. Blackberries, ooh, healing. If there's any cool items that I missed along the way too, sorry. <laughs> I'm kind of just gonna go through this game, not super quick, but you know, probably not do a lot of side stuff. But let's check. Oh, yep. Yeah, here's the menu item. Okay. Skills. Let's see. Do we have? We don't have any SP to actually do anything, anyways. So, yeah, I can't even do anything, anyways. This is the only game you've ever played. Played to, is to the end. Wow, that's crazy. Let's see. Any items in here? Ah, here we go. Hey, don't touch that. That music box means a lot to me. Okay, nothing in there. Just walking around. Something about magic. Ah, oh, thanks, Sheena. I'm so glad, Sheena. Thanks for in Martoth. Go see him. Okay. Ooh, items. Blueberries, which I think recover SP and stuff like that. Don't need to go on about it. Do 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 do. Number two comes. Oh yeah, I I want to play that on PS4 as well or PS5 if it comes out too. So. Thanks for all your hard work. Play an instrument. I'm not very talented at all. Cheer up. It's not like it. You know, hope you'll get better. You're right. Thanks, Millie. Hey, that was Roddick saying that. That wasn't Millie. <laughs> Definitely thanks. You got any blackberries? Haven't gotten them in yet. By the way, did you choose a team to go on for your discovery fund? Because. There are 13 characters. Yeah, when I was playing it on the phone, I had a team kind of picked out that I wanted to do. But I think this time around, I don't think I'll really go for a team because I got the the spoiler thing of uh, um, that one girl being in the crystal. And, like, I, I think it for this time around, I'm going to just kind of go with whatever happens, you know? I don't think I'll worry if I get anybody or miss anybody because I know I got all the characters I wanted to go for last time. And, and I got, like, the full set of characters I wanted, but then uh, it didn't really, like, go in the... I didn't finish the game. <laughs> As you know, so it's all good. Miss Fraser, what the... What was the new vegetables? Don't know, buy them before you get them to them. Yeah, I don't think there's any items in here. Nope. Okay, let's get out of town. Let's go. I'm just checking for items. <laughs> hey, Roddick, let's keep patrolling Kratos. Do I have to patrol this way then? Oh, I think I remember this part of the game doing this before, and then I got like so, um, sidetracked or something and I was like how do I even finish this out <laughs> yeah I couldn't even remember you have to like go somewhere oh, oh there we that? go what the? It means you the only Bandits. secret sound that Star Wars is switching to the universe forget her you play won't have the impact wow bandits go get them Meteor punch! <laughs> Meteor storm! <laughs> Bastards coming here in broad daylight. Man, Dorn looks to different too. Let's go. All the all the pictures look a lot different than they did on that phone. Let's crush them. Look out! <laughs> Hang in there, everyone. <laughs> okay. Yeah, get them. Wish they could have lasted longer. 
Blueberries acquired. Nice. Gotta kill all the bandits! Whoa! Are they on the inside of town too? They are. Go, save her! Help! Oh, she just runs around saying help. <laughs> Let's go! Have you played this version yet, Napoli? Or have you beat Star Ocean First Departure R? I bet you probably beat it the first week it was out, huh? Oh, gosh! Was easy. They're putting up more of a fight than we figured, boss. Urgh. Pathetic. Oh, Letting a couple of brats step all over us? Just wait till I show them. No, we got we this. Just any brats, I'll have you know. We're the official town defense force. And we're not about to let some punk swagger in here with this pack of gutless losers. Ooh, yeah, get him. You guys wouldn't last two minutes in a fight. What? What did you say? <laughs> get him. Let's get him, boss. Oh, you haven't started his first departure yet, are yet? Oh, man. So I'm I'm, go I'm ahead of you now. I'm ahead of you in a Star Ocean game. This is trouble. the first time ever. <laughs> Considering you're like <laughs> the best Star Ocean player in the world, not the Leo. <laughs> Final Fantasy 7 Remake, woo woo! And Resident Evil 3, yeah, I'm gonna play both of those for sure. Huh? Happens in the universe after Star Ocean 3, it's weird, but Star Ocean 4 and 5 aren't the only prequels I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, it's it's just interesting how the how the story is, how they made like the end of it, like they're all in like a video game, it's like super crazy. I mean, this is a spoiler stream for those once, but not for Star Ocean 1 because I haven't beat it before, but definitely for the ones I've already beat. So just keep that in mind if you haven't played any of the other Star Ocean games. Just doing our job, sir. Ooh, <laughs> how suave of you. I just got just to where you meet Ilya and Ronix and then stopped because of school. Ah, so I am not ahead of you yet. What's up, Noctis? How are you doing? Hopefully awesome and amazing. That night. What's up, Res Barza 22? Okay, so we've kind of started the beginning slash tutorial of the fighting of the game. Uh, I'm going to announce last month's giveaway winner. So are you ready for last month's giveaway winner? Here we go. Hopefully it's not backwards. Um, if it is, I'll read it out. But Oh, it is backwards because of, this, because of the, the video. <laughs> so it's Fola Alawado. Alawadi. Fola... Fola Alawode. I don't know how to say that person's name, but they're the winner for last month's giveaway, which is a $20 Google Play gift card. So congratulations to Fola Alawode. <laughs> I don't know if you could really see that, but uh, yeah, Fo Fola, Fola Alawode. <laughs> Boy, hopefully that person knows how to say their own name. <laughs> sure they do. Congratulations to you. You won a $20 Google Play gift card, which I'll get a touch with you to get that gift card to you or the code for that gift card and the giveaway rules for this month's giveaway will be announced later in the video so make sure you stick around for another chance to win a $20 Google Play gift card so for now the winner for last month's will announce stick around so that you can know how to get into this month's giveaway you know what I'll play later today so that you're not <laughs> so I'm not ahead of you okay now Leo. <laughs> thank you man Let's see if Enjoy. I can get like 20 hours into the game. That way it's super hard for you to pass me. I just play it for 24 hours straight. No, I'm just kidding. I have work tomorrow. I can't do that. <laughs> I think the most I'll play is like two hours tonight. <laughs> Those bandits hardly even put up a fight. What are you talking about? That was a pretty close call and you know it. Oh, I know it. <laughs> Mystic wrong, Jedi. <laughs> you look a off. I don't think your name's pronounced oh, like that, Mr. Jedi. He's just been moping <laughs> around all the time lately. Well, see you later. See you yeah. later. Hope you feel better tomorrow, Roddick. Thanks again, ma'am. Oh, certainly. Come back anytime. Oh, I will. Maybe. Because it's my house. <laughs> Being bored's a good thing, huh? 
Oh, you won't be bored much longer, Roddick. There's about to be some crazy stuff going on. <coughs> the fact that aliens are going to crash on your planet someday soon. <laughs> oh, I thought you were still sleeping. Did you have trouble falling asleep? No, I'm fine. Are you sure? You've been acting kind of strange lately. I don't want Millie and Dorn having to worry about you. <laughs> well, stop worrying so much, Mom. I'll be back later. We'll be back. Where off to now? Hmm. Maybe I can leave the town. Oh, Millie's in front of her house. Let's see what happens if I leave outside, though. Nope, I can't. I have to go to Millie's. Dangerous to walk outside by myself. What's up, Frog of War? How are you doing? Good morning, Roddick. Inami's art is for this game. Oh, yeah, the, the art for the characters is so much better than it was before. Good morning, Roddick. Doran already went outside. Hey, Roddick, the captain's waiting for you. Do 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 do. Ah, there you are, Roddick. <laughs> to business then. You made us all proud here yesterday, pulling a bandit warlord with only three of you. They the tell me. Those people wanted me to give this to you. Here, take it. A new sword. Oh, it's just blueberries. Twice cooked pork. What mm. the? Hey, this is Ronick's favorite food. Why does he get special treatment? It came from a fan of Roddick's. Uh, that's all I know. A fan? <laughs> well, regardless, keep up the good work, all of you. It's not like we get stuff like we had yesterday very often. This town would be perfectly safe even if we sat on our tails all day. <laughs> Dorn, knock it off. Is going to say anything else? Future's bright for you three. Nice. Maybe we can leave now? Sweet. We can actually go somewhere. Ooh, the graphics do look a little bit cleaner from the last time that I played this on the phone. Well, I guess, yeah, it's definitely going to be better than it is on a phone. Celestial ship remains. I don't think there's anything over here. But we can come back here later. Made to Orcs Bridge. Oh, I wonder if, uh. Let's see. Yeah, they have no skills yet. Does Millie have any skills? Nope. Just heal and antidote. Flare bomb. Where's defense? Okay, I've got some equipment, at least. Oh, hold R2? Oh, nice. Haha, <laughs> perfect. Thank you so much. Look out! Here they come! Ah. Don't kill me, no! This game gets so easy after your characters get pretty rocked out, like, pretty awesome, but for now they are super weak. <laughs> I wonder, um, let's see, let's look at my status for my character. Next is in 5 experience. Okay, let's, let's just level up one more level and then we can go into town. I think I think that's probably the wisest thing. Just leveling up a little bit more. Let's go. We have company. That we broke the Cactuar event. DFFO Global. Did did we break the event? How did we break the event? Did it, did it stop working or something? Shockwave Squirrel. Sweet. Buff the monsters and all. The time you get to... 
Oh, dang. So so by the time you get to the third continent, it gets, like, really hard. Oh. What's up, Lim? How are you doing? Hopefully awesome and amazing. Let's see. What do they have set for it? It's L1? Okay. That should be fine. I'm just going to fight one more enemy. Thousand kills, so it didn't work. We have company. Interesting. Oh gosh! Get him! Yeah! <laughs> Shockwave swirl! Was way too fast. Good enough. Okay, let's go into town. You can't access it anymore. The bar just keeps loading because we beat the event. Oh dang! I didn't realize that happened. <laughs> Wow, that's hilarious. Yeah, I guess I didn't do it enough times to, to or like recently today, so. I got a necklace. Offer some protection. Ooh, nice. Let's do it. Da -da -da. Receive 200 full. Blueberries. Most of the men from this village have left to make their money elsewhere for their families. Good. skill a million times so it gets really strong <laughs> even though I'll be switching it for a better skill soon <laughs> I don't think we should go far away from Kratos let's call it a day and go back yeah you're right fine heading back Can I even go down there? Right there? I wonder if there's anything over there. I'm gonna go over there real quick too. Look out! We have company. Oh no! That was way too fast. Did they get any skills? Nothing. Did she get anything? Nothing. Nope. Nothing. All the way back to Kratos. At least they make you run into a, a ton of enemies like they did <laughs> the last version of this game. So that hasn't changed. Do 
Here they come! Hang in there, everyone! Got this. Oh, what did everybody do for the new year? I mean, some people, I guess, have already told me when I did my DFFO streams, but did anybody not be able to tell me if they did anything fun or amazing for the new year? In case you're not, in case you haven't viewed a lot of my channel, I went on a little cruise. It was, it was really fun. <laughs> <coughs> it was only a few days, but it was really fun. You called for us, sir? Ah, Roddick. Good, Good to, to see, see you here. We've got trouble. Take a look at this. A letter came in earlier. Send help immediately. Mystery outbreak in Cool Village. Cool Resident Village. Suffering from high fever. Mayor of Cool Village. Mayor of Cool Village. They're so cool. <laughs> so what do we do? We go help them out. That's what. The herbs that grow on the peak of Mount Matorx ought to do the trick. Wait. Why loads of wine and went to a party at the end of the New Year's Day? Oh wow, Jordan. <laughs> Sounds like you had a good time. Martov, will you go on our behalf? Yes. I don't think we have much to worry about with this mystery outbreak. <laughs> well. If the best healer in all of Kratis is on the job, it'd be a tremendous relief to all of us. <coughs> Excuse me. Got a little bit of cough, too. I had a little bit a little of cough while, while I was on the right? cruise. Ugh. Stay away from Mount Maytox. Too dangerous. What's up, Joseph Baird? I'm doing pretty good. How's the game? Oh, it's pretty great. We're about 30 minutes in. The story's starting off nice and chill. <laughs> Nothing too crazy going on. It's a great game. Uh, I've only been able to play like well, half of it, I'm or like off. maybe a third of it. I've never beat it before, but it, I like the Star Ocean games. You have to be into the fighting style that it is, like arena fighting style. It's a great kind of game, though. <laughs> I like it. Yes, sir. I just haven't we'll been able to beat it yet. I tried to do it on my phone before Star Ocean First Departure R came out. When First Star Departure R came out, I was like, I'm definitely going to do it on that instead. <laughs> and that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Come on, guys. Lighten up a bit. Millie, I know how you feel. But Roddy, you've been acting weird lately. What's wrong? You can tell us. You never played First Departure? Well, it's <sighs> something you can watch me do a little bit. And if you think it looks pretty cool, you can go and get it. It's not that expensive, so that's good. You know, it's pretty cheap for a PS4 game. Oh, it's Ensenada. It was um, for my Father's like father-in-law's birthday. It was, you know, it was something for him, and uh, we gotta go. <laughs> it was pretty nice. F ever played the rest? Oh, okay. My faves are part two and three. There you go. Yeah, I I really like part three a lot. I like till the end of time a lot. Um, and my favorite game is probably Star Ocean Four with Raimi. Uh, I, I like I like all of them though. Father still doesn't come back. We've got to find going, him. All right. He said he'd call us if he needed us. Beat Star Ocean on the PSX days, though the boss right. fight, tough boss fight. More. Yeah, I, I know there's like, and I think it's in Star Ocean 2 or Star Ocean 1. I can't remember, but you can make the boss like extremely ridiculously powerful. I can't remember which one of the two it is, but you can make him so powerful it's like impossible to beat. <laughs> Like, you make him, like, super, super, super powerful. What's it say? A powerful disease has struck cool. My methods are powerless against it, and even worse. Star Ocean 1 with Rena. afraid I've contracted the disease myself. Yeah. Casual skin contact is enough to spread the illness. It incubates for about an hour. But after it develops, the infected turn into stone in about three days' time. There the is stone no disease. Cool. Do not approach it under any circumstances. Martoth, Cliet. 
Millie. Oh She's no. For cool all by herself. We've got to stop her. What do we do? We got to stop her. You can unlock a special mode for the boss and he becomes so ridiculously strong. Yeah, that's what it is. Like, I just know that you have to do something, like, in a specific way, and then he just becomes so strong you can't, like, beat him unless you're, like, incredibly super powerful. <laughs> yeah, that's what, I, that's what I've heard. I've seen p people fight him on his strongest mode, too, and it's, like, super incredible how hard it looks. See right here, like without a healer, without Millie, it's gonna be a little tougher to get through back to Cool, back to Coolsville. Oh, throw a personal action. I see. What's wrong, Dorn? <clears throat> nothing. It's nothing. Hmm. He's just worried. Do 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 do. We got trouble. I hope we can do this. Whoa, wolf dudes. Shockwave swirl. Shockwave swirl. Shockwave swirl. This is Oh gosh. Shockwave swirl. Oh no. I died already. Powers flowing in me. I don't think I have that herb that brings them back to life either. I should have healed them sooner. Let's see. <laughs> do I have it? Uh I have one resurrection elixir. <laughs> oh well. I should have healed sooner. It's not that big of a deal. Meteor Palm! Meteor Palm! <laughs> yeah, that's. <laughs> I hope Star Ocean 2 comes out on the PS4 because it's literally the best Star Ocean game for the general fan base. I, I haven't played it at all, so I, I hope to play it sometime in the future. I'm going to do a quick save real quick. Do do do. First save in the game. Just in case I do die. <laughs> I don't want to have to start all of this back over. But yeah, Meteor Palm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Meteor Palm. Meteor Palm. Meteor Palm. Oh. There's Millie. <laughs> After her. <laughs> yeah, you should have seen me when I was playing this on my phone. Just that sound, sound bite over and over and over and over. This person's turned to stone. Oh no. They're all stones. <laughs> Stay away from me! No matter what you do, don't touch me! Father... I am done for, Millie. And you won't let me sit by your side, Father? I can't even hold your hand? How can something like this happen? No! Roddick, Dawn, can you take my daughter back to town for me? Millie, let's go. Millie! No! I'm sorry, guys. Wait. I'm never coming back. <laughs> Dorn? Planning to go off by yourself? Uh. You're going to pick some herbs off the peak of Mount Matorx, aren't you? Doesn't take a genius to see what you're thinking. What's up, Martin? How are you doing? <laughs> woe is you. Why woe is you? We're playing Star Ocean First Departure R. There's no woe here. There's happiness and only happiness. Huh? <laughs> That's right. Just put that smile on your face. <laughs> It'll be okay. Your dad'll be fine once we get those herbs. Yeah. But this is hmm. terrible. I can't stand seeing you sad like this. Dorn? Millie, I want you to know something. I... I... Miss too many. Feel so old. Miss too many what? <sighs> Years of your life? <laughs> Erg. Dorn, what's wrong? Are... He's turning Get to stone. Me. Oh no, Dorn. N no, sorry. I'm fine. It's nothing. 
Steam a ham? <laughs> I can't steam a ham anymore. No! No! I gotta steam hams right now. Steam hams. <laughs> Pick you back up, Martin. We gotta all steam hams. <laughs> Just collapsed. Uh, we got this. Every time something comes up, what's the first thing out of her mouth? Erotic. <laughs> Steamed <Erotic>. hands. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> Rodic, come with me. Dorn's in trouble. <laughs> like riding a bike, despite your directions. <laughs> Wait, let's go. <laughs> That's how you steam a ham. <laughs> what's the mom gonna say? Nothing. Okay. Let's get going. Boom! Back up to Mount Matorx. Are you alright? Huh? What do you mean? You... But I just saw you... Stop jumping to conclusions. I was just a little lightheaded, that's all. I told you it was nothing. Roddick, don't you think we ought to go pick some herbs at the peak of Mount Matorx? Yes. That'd just be just the oh, thing for Millie's dad. Uh, yeah. Matorx lies due north of Cool. We'll need to watch ourselves. We got this. You We're strong that, enough. That's we gotta heal right her there. back. <laughs> no trouble here. We got plenty of blueberries. <laughs> we have company. Look out! Do 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 do. Yeah, Shockwave yeah. swirl! Shockwave yeah. swirl! Shockwave yeah. swirl! Boom. <laughs> that was way too fast. Um, I think now is a good part part in the stream to talk about the rules for this month's giveaway. I'm going to do a quick little save just so we can do that. And I'll remind everybody, the winner for last month's giveaway was Fola Alawode. Fola Alawode. I don't know if you can see that. F O L A. Alawode. Fola Alawode. Congratulations for that $20 Google Play gift card. To win this month's Google Play gift card for the year of first month of 2020. Woohoo! So we're doing a $20 Google Play gift card. Woo! Or uh, equivalent gift card for like Apple phone or for PS4, Xbox One, etc. etc. You just have to be a subscriber. First and foremost, subscribe to this channel, hit that subscribe button. If you're doing that, that's awesome. You have to like this video. Woo! Like this video. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty easy. And third and final one, you just have to say a Star Ocean character. Now, I know there's some people that watch my channel that don't know what Star Ocean is. There's literally three Star Ocean characters on the screen right now. You can say, you can comment Roddick. You can comment Dorn, you can com com comment Millie, you can comment Raimi, who's my favorite. Raimi, Raimi, Raimi. Or I Yashua is like Napoleo. You just have to comment one character from any Star Ocean game. It can even be an exclusive to Star Ocean and Menesis. It could be just any Star Ocean character. You just have to comment that and you're entered into the giveaway with being a subscriber and liking this video and commenting that. That's super easy, right? Super easy. The winner for last month's giveaway, the Fola Alawode, he just had to say his favorite Final Fantasy game. It was super easy. And there's only like, I think like 40 or 50 people that entered. So you have a pretty good chance. Like not that many people are going to enter these giveaways. So, I mean, I have a lot of subscribers, but not all 6,000 subscribers are gonna enter. It's really funny that I have these giveaways. More people that enter, wonderful, uh, but your chances are pretty good. So uh, there's been a lot of people that have watched my channel that I've got. I've done, been doing giveaways for like two years. So yeah, there's been like plenty of winners. So you have a good chance. <laughs> there you go. We have Dia, Celia. Yeah, they're entered. Hopefully win this time. <laughs> Napoleo, there's always the chance. I, I don't ever play favorites too. It's all random. As much as I love everybody here and everybody that watches my channel, it's a, it's all random. I use a random um, randomizer, a list randomizer of all the names of the, all the people that enter. And if you're lucky, you get, you get it. <laughs> so yeah. I I think one time um, Martin just Martin even even won, and he uh, he said just to pick the next person in line because <laughs> Martin's awesome like that. But yeah, um, pretty much there's 
there's a really good chance to win because some people don't even pick up the prize, which means it just gets entered to the next person. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, best of luck to everybody. Whether you're watching the video now or later, it doesn't have to be, the comment doesn't have to be during the live stream. It could be later after this video is uploaded. Just have to enter by subscribing, liking, and commenting a Star Ocean character. Uh, yes, commenting in the stream does count. Uh, I, I go through the stream and I see the people that have commented and I put their name in the randomizer as well in case they don't comment after the video, but your name only gets entered once. So, <laughs> Martin is frankly shocked. Oh, come on, Martin. <laughs> um, if you enter later, like you comment during the stream and you comment later, it's only going to go in one time. You only get one chance, like one entry. <laughs> Miss Animesis went hard for Rena and her bridal version. Oh, dang. Ashton. Oh, Ashton. Yeah, he's got the two dragon dudes. Whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> but yeah, only commenting one character. It only enters you. You only get entered one time. <laughs> if people don't get 50 entries or anything like that for commenting 50 characters, <laughs> and, I mean it does run up to how many comments there are on my live stream, which means more people get to see like more characters that they could comment, or you know you can help out by letting people know different options. See Millie, Risparza, 22, put in Millie, which is one of the characters I'm actually using right now. <laughs> so yeah, super easy. This is like a super easy one to enter. Like, I mean, if you don't know, uh, some of the past entries have been really easy, too. Like I said, one one time I just said for somebody to comment whatever they wanted, <laughs> and people did. <laughs> hey, they'll lay those eggs if you got it too close, don't they? You get nasty if those eggs hatch. Didn't want to join in JP Joseph. Ashton's such a cool guy. <laughs> oh, and here's the, um, there's like a hidden, uh, what do you call it? A hidden pathway up here with like super hard enemies. Can we actually can we actually get these guys? Are we strong enough? I think we are. What's up, JC DFFOO? Yes, Al Bell. He is another character. Everybody's got some good characters here. Al Bell the Wicked from the till the end of time. Nice, nice. <laughs> Al Bell the Wicked. Are you guys all right? Yup. Make sure you brush off the fell wormings. Don't worry. They wouldn't be a problem if they didn't hatch so fast. What's up? Oh, I thought somebody else had entered too. It's just Joseph Barrett again. <laughs> I'm like looking over at the comments while I'm playing at the same time. Let me check these special arts to see if there's any new ones too. Nope, doesn't look like it. I spent too much for the near ocean characters and others. Just more than disappointed in anything at that point. Ah. <clears throat> uh, I know for a global, I I saved up a lot of gems and ended up using them all in my last video because like they they ended up closing down, which was super sad uh, that that happened. I remember that time. Let's see, do we have any? Um, I don't think we have anything that we can actually. Yeah, there's nothing. Aromat, ooh, nice. Yeah, another side character. Heart L Bell. Yeah, I know that there's like um, the secret path around here somewhere, but I don't think I can get it yet, right? I think it's like with another character that I can open it up. Horse time. We have company. Here they come. Do do do. Flying in the air. Get him. Oh, I ran out. I've been saving up the gems from time to time. I'm glad I got the most recent Raimi. I was super happy about that. You guys missed my Star Ocean Anamnesis JP stream for my polls on the most recent Raimi banner with the New Year's banner. I was really happy. I only had to use two multis and I got her, which was super awesome. They have courage to admit they early, admitted early instead of stringing you along money for the anniversary. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember sharing millions of things in Facebook groups pair for the twin eclipse and just got closed down before it yeah it happens right i mean that's the way of gotcha games you can't you can't predict a gotcha game when it's going to be over you just have to know that the time you put into it was worth it to you and not spend too much if you don't want to ever face it closing because with gotcha games if what if they aren't popular they're going to close 
it happens with even the best of them. Like, I've seen um, gotcha games that were older ones that have, were out for a while ago that have closed down that were really good games. So, I know a lot of people were disappointed in, like, Tales of the Rays for... Um, because, I mean, Tales, Tales um, games, especially mobile games, aren't as popular as other games. So, I can see that why that one shut down, but... It apparently was a really good game. I played a little bit myself, and I didn't get very far in it, but I enjoyed it. So, you just gotta be prepared for all gotcha games. It's it's the future of all of them, even for DFFOO. So keep that in mind. Like, one day, hopefully not any day soon. Hopefully it's like in a decade from now, because the game is amazing. But, yeah. They're releasing another one. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I mean, it, we'll we'll see what happens with each game. It just depends on its popularity Don't and its growth. Me. Don't touch him. What? I'm just worried about you. You don't have to yell at me like that. No, it's nothing. Don't worry about me. He's turning to stone. Wait, you didn't catch the? Oh no. It oh, it's a good one. I've got about like a third of the way through before. I've never beaten myself, but I'm excited to actually play all the way through it on on the PS4. <laughs> we better go back home. Not no, yet. I'm fine. I haven't started turning into stone yet. We got this. I said I'm fine. I'm sorry. But I'm fine. Besides, those gotta get up there. Me anyway, right? Let's get moving. Gotta be quick. Boop. Healed. Boop. Picked a item. <sighs> Never played this. Oh, stars in one. The more you get into the story, the better it gets. <laughs> Yeah, it depends on the characters you get too, that you'll get different cutscenes. Um, and like different story paths depending as well. I, I got certain characters my first time playing and I got different cutscenes because of that. I whereas this time I'll get different cutscenes because I might not go the same there route. Any life forms here, Captain, when I scanned the area. Who are you? What do you want? Have you come here to take the herbs away from us? Where did you come from? Look, you don't have to be so... Stay where you are! Uh, ...so afraid. Uh, well, that didn't work. Who are you? Where are you from? You're dressed really weird and I don't trust you! Well, you see, my name is Ronix J. Kenny. Ronix. How can I explain this so it makes sense? Captain, huh? allow me. <sighs> my name's Elia Silvestri. Elia. Meteor Palm! My name's Meteor Palm! I you know that we're not Meteor. your enemy. We're here to help you. <laughs> Before That's her real name. Anything, I want to let you know. Close we Encounters Trophy. Oh man, her picture looks so much better. That that actually looks like a really good picture of Ilya. Really? Dang, well, the art is so much better. I how, wonder how Ronix is gonna look. How does Ronix? We're here look? to pick some of the herbs off of this mountain. That's all. I should tell you that these herbs won't stop anyone from turning into stone. Whoa. What? How, who are you? More interested in listening to us now? All right. Go. I'm sure you won't believe us at first, but we've come from a place far, far Gabriel, away to um, save all of you. I'm not familiar with that character in this one. Gabriel. Um, I don't know. Napoleo is Gabriel in this one. I know Yashua is because that's that's Napoleo's favorite character, and it's in this one. <laughs> he's in this one. Oh, okay, okay. So he's not. So why didn't you come sooner then? We can't make direct contact with civilizations in the early stages of development. It's part of the underdeveloped planet preservation pact. The Celests, Celestials. <laughs> They're in uh, later ones. Gabriel is in Star Ocean 2's boss. Oh, okay, okay. Celeste. Early stages of development. We came here from beyond Gabriel the sky. Celeste. From another oh, that's, planet. that's the name. We're making something of a special exception to the rule, you see. 
beyond the sky? Are you gods? No, we're not gods. We're people, just like you. Well, uh, except Through without the tales. Through a music that you have to create. Oh, a character that's unlockable through music. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's wow. hilarious. Lazonia, a force opposing our own, broke the underdeveloped planet preservation pact recently and engaged in direct interference with this planet. As if that weren't bad enough, they also fired a biological weapon at you, releasing the contagion that spread across this whole area. So oh, we're turning boss. into stone not, and it's not a, those Lazonia guys? Not a character. You can play just an optional boss. Correct. I'm excited to play Starship too. A lot of people like that one as their favorite, so we've been sent here to examine the disease. If it's and as try good as Starship One, which I know a lot of people say it's even better, I'm excited so to play it see, one day. Come here to help you, probably in ways you've never oh. imagined. Relic's picture not doesn't look as good as um, Ilya's. Ilya's looks really good in this. I still can't believe any of this. But can you really help with the cure? I can't really believe it either. But if you're able to save our friend here... If you come with us and help us in creating a vaccine, we should be able to cure him. Hmm. Vaccine? Um, uh, a miracle medicine, sort of. Well then. Star Ocean Last Home. There's Those are the only ones you played. I beat further. both of those, and if I beat um, to come with us, the You'll fifth. Never see this planet again. I beat three, four, and five. Those are the ones I've beat. I beat Star Ocean three, four, and five. Yeah. And I've played Star Ocean Animesis a lot. <laughs> Hopefully, this is the fourth Star Ocean game That's I beat, the and then Star Ocean two will be the last if one you I beat. With us too much, we can't let you <laughs> Saving the best for last, life. apparently. <laughs> you know. That's another part of the underdeveloped <clears throat> planet preservation pact. We got this. Now, if you'd like, we could go our separate ways, and you could pretend this was all some kind of fever dream. There is still time for that. Well, I'm going with these guys. All I've got waiting for me here is life as a statue. You can't do that. You want me to choose between losing you forever or losing my father and everyone else forever? Don't make me do that, Dorn. Millie, let's go with Dorn too. I'm sorry to break this to you, but there's just nothing we can do if we stay here. I know it's hard leaving everyone you know in Kratos. Which one did I like more, four or five? Ahead. Um, I like four everybody. because of Raimi. <laughs> I like I like the character Raimi the most. But I like the game yeah, story so of Star Ocean well 3 going. the most so far. Moment, like, that Star Ocean 3 story was really, really good. <laughs> but ah! Raimi's my favorite character, hands down. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, hopefully, hopefully these other games kind of put up a good story as well. This is our ship. You really are gods. We're not gods. And We're Raby was cool. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <sighs> well, Raby the best. Bay. Yeah, it's 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 really good. Like it the just. Floor. It's moving. Yeah. And the door back there opened by itself. I think if I had played Star Ocean for one and two more, I'd appreciate the twist even like more. But before. even having played that as my first Star Ocean full game, like like beating that as the first game I've I ever played for Star Ocean. I mean, I, I played Star Ocean four range. first, but only for like an hour my or two before Rodic playing Ferris. Star Ocean three, and then I beat four after beating I'm three. Like still, even then, Star Ocean three's <sighs> plot <sighs> for the end, just them all being in like a virtual reality, is just like so crazy. Better hurry then. <laughs> What's this? Um, so I played Star Ocean 4 first. That was the first Star Ocean f game I've ever played. I only played it for like an hour or two, and I thought the character was really cool. I had only rented it, I never played it again. 
And so when the Starship Amnesia came out and I was playing that, I was like, oh, this is a character I thought was really hot and really cool. So that's the, it, what ended up happening. And I played Starship 4 later for the first time all the way through. So yeah. <laughs> Saying the plot twist was stupid. <laughs> Seeing someone like it. Oh, really? Oh, I, I, like, I liked it. Three, the, the I plot of really. Uh, I liked it a lot. I'm on the people. team with people that think it's a really cool plot device. See what you can do for him, Doctor. Yes, sir. We got this. Well, no point in having you hang around here. How would you like a tour of the ship? Sure. Captain, that would be a violation of the Preservation Pact. Well, it's a little late for that, isn't it? I'll be on the bridge. You show them around for me. Okay? Captain. Brother. Oh, really? It's the most controversial? Interesting. Stop lying. Here's a save point. Let's do a quick save. What? Wait, why wouldn't it let me save? Oh, I have to stand exact directly on it. <laughs> of course. It looks like those who hate it are those who played Star Ocean 2 at the time before Star Ocean 3 was released. Oh. So so 2 is... They like it better. <coughs> Excuse me. I wonder... Let's see. Can I go anywhere else with it? Oh, here we go. Did it make up to the, their expectations of those who joined... Through Star Ocean 3, loved it. Oh, interesting. See the circle? Well, that's the elevator pad. Elevator pad? That's how they travel between floors. Can I go over here? What's over here? Oh, it's this place. There's a transporter room. 100,000 gigawatts. Let's go to a bridge. Are you part of the hook? Probably why they like Star Trek's first one. It was your first one? Oh, okay. Yes, I know you really, you really like that one. <laughs> Cause I, um, uh, fate, fate. I saw his name, fate. <laughs> I can't even remember now. It's been, I've been a lot, so tired today. Have you had a good look around? Let's see. Yeah, well, let's see. What else can we talk to? Just go look around and tell. I never thought about it. Hmm. Fate and Sophie. Yeah. Yeah, Fate's, I know, Napoleo's, like, bread and butter character. He loves that character more than, like, well, m for most characters. I know Ayashua is still your favorite, like, character, but, like, Fate and Ayashua are, like, your two best ones, Napoleo, right? That's your two favorite. <laughs> Sound effects the menu and save points throughout the series. Because I remember... Oh, interesting. That's the exit of the Canis. Calnus. That door looks pretty strong. It needs to be. Beyond that door lies an ocean of stars, a world with no air. No air? That's what space is like. None of us would survive a minute outside the door. <clears throat> Let's open it. Don't do that, Roddick. You'll die if you get through that door. <laughs> nice. If I had to make a 10 list, I think Fate would be around 6th position. Oh, really? I thought he was like your favorite. I guess, uh, I guess I was wrong. Many hours spent there. Wait, I think I already went to this room. Can I go in this other room here? Oh, there's nothing there. Okay. Back to the bridge. I think that's it, right? We've done every room. Oh. Back to the sick bay then? 
Oh, there we go. Watch out! The sensors are detecting an alien presence. Oh no! The eggs! They've hatched! Damn it! Their eggs must have latched onto us at Mount Mator. Meteor Palm! Oh, uh, what? Ilya's not gonna fight this. fight him with us? Get him! Yeah! That was way too fast! It's gone! Huh? No, it isn't! See? It's. You can still see it? The moment your blood touched it, it disappeared. Weird. Shockwave swirl! <laughs> Ilya, take Roddick and Millie to sick bay. I'll meet you there. Yes, sir. Wait, where did that come from just now? We have these things called communicators. They let us talk to people even if we're far away from each other. Anyway, the doctor wants to see us. Let's head to sick bay. Is he cured? I don't know yet. Demon Fang. Every every move just said a million times. <laughs> well, how is he? Don't be in such a hurry there, miss. The doctor's just getting to that. Ahem. After a thorough investigation, I have isolated an am I'm afraid curing this illness is something that's beyond the ability of Earth medical science. Oh no, Dorn's dead. Well, Randy, you've got all these amazing things. Can't you do something? Anything? The advanced medical technology at my fingertips is precisely what allows me to declare that this is an impossible task, young lady. This pathogen is in a constant state of flux, mutating at a truly breathtaking speed. Even if I could make a vaccine, it would lose its effectiveness in a matter of minutes. There is oh no! The wallow in despair. <laughs> the boss, boss, uh, boss suggestion or boss suggestions, boss words. <laughs> wallow in despair. Judging by the pathogen structure, I believe this to be a naturally occurring virus. So if we could track down the host the original carrier of the disease. We could use the host's blood to create an immunity serum. So that'll work. I mean, would that work, sir? I believe so. <coughs> Excuse me. But he'll be turning into stone within three days. That's nowhere near enough time to find the host. Oddly enough, the body's molecular structure seems to remain perfectly intact even after the petrification process is complete. If we could just procure that serum, our patient should be able to make a full recovery. Mm. Well, that's something to work with anyway. It won't be easy, though. I doubt Lazonia is that eager to tell us where the host is. You're right. More importantly, though, I can't help but wonder, why did they even use this bioweapon on planet Roke in the first place? Roke? The name we've given your homeworld. But Elia's right. I don't see how Lazonia benefits at all from turning everyone on Roke into stone. Why'd they name their planet for them? Couldn't they just name their own planet? <laughs> Doctor, are there any major differences between the anatomy of Rokians and other humanoid species on other planets? Well, let me think. Their basic organic Originally from? And nervous systems are highly for the PlayStation. humans. The but there is one rather striking difference. Their blood? Precisely. The structure of their blood vastly differs from our own. The most obvious point is the hemoglobin. In humans, it is iron-based, but in Rokians, it is copper-based. Mm. What are you getting at, Elia? 
This is just a possibility, but perhaps there is some benefit to petrifying the Rokians after all. Who explain the motive behind dropping the bioweapon on the planet? What kind of benefit? Mm, some kind of previously undiscovered matter, maybe. You mean what? A weapon? There is that possibility. In particular, I'm talking about something that's invisible. Something that wouldn't even show up on our sensors. So they're killing us off to make some kind of weapon for themselves? Well, we can't say that for sure yet. It would certainly explain a lot of things, though. Why can't real life be like Star Ocean? <laughs> like a virtual reality game? Uh, I'm sure you could do that. <laughs> if you get... If you get Grit, good enough technology, you can put yourself inside of a Star Ocean virtual reality game that's super Let's awesome. That <laughs> I'm sure you could start your own universe if you wanted. <laughs> Doctor, run a simulation to see if petrifying their blood results in some sort of matter that can be used for offensive purposes. Are you sure? We're talking tens of thousands of combination. There's no other way. We've got to find out. Got this. Very well. This is what I get for whining about how boring every day was. <laughs> what are you talking it will be about? the future, not the Leo. It will be soon in the future. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, we'll get, we'll be me. in the Ready Player One universe. <laughs> Everybody can make their own virtual reality universe. <laughs> the captain wants you. you can take the One day. Thank you. <laughs> There you are. Elia has news for you. Okay, Ron. We compared the current number of petrified bodies with our previous. <laughs> Won't figures. be here anymore. Why is that? <laughs> How did they take all of them off the? You won't be able to play the multi-universe game. <laughs> so it's true. Are you going off to space sure or something? No, I'm going to be back for a while. <laughs> it sure is hard to imagine those bodies being used for peaceful purposes at this point. Sorry, that uh, didn't come out right. By the way, we're returning to Earth. I'm going to go through our ambassadors and get Lazonia to hand over the host. Not that I expect them to be interested in negotiating. With them. I'd like all faith. of you to come with us and participate in the reports. It'll be the year 4000. <laughs> I don't think it'll take that long. That's super long. I'll be. A Rokian master of symbology. <laughs> Captain, of course. Condition is worsening. <laughs> symbology. Ooh. His vital organs have begun the petrification process. I'm afraid he's in critical condition. Dorn. Captain, there's something I want to ask you. What is it? If I'm going to die. I want it to happen in my own bed. You're not gonna die. You'll just be asleep for a bit. But what if you can't get that serum? <sighs> maybe 3,000? <laughs> I still think sooner than that. I think maybe the year... 2050. Maybe 2060. Like... Get the transport. I'll, I'll yes. probably be in my 70s. That's what I'm guessing. Like, I'm 32 Please, right now. I'll be in my 70s when I we know. can start doing super awesome virtual we'll reality worlds. <laughs> That's my guess. If we're not all dead by then. Because <laughs> of World War V. <laughs> all right. I'll have Elia accompany you then. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Be about 50. <laughs> In the year 2050. I want Dorn transported directly into his bed, Doc. Nice. This is a precision. Or 2060. Move. I don't know. Don't mess it up. <laughs> yes, sir. When you're ready, Helio. <laughs> Guy weep stuck in a virtual reality yes, world. Sir. Yes. He doesn't look at a stone right there. He looks kind of normal right there. Yu-Gi-Oh never. Never unplug. Let my body wither away. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Yo, there was rule. something I wanted to give you before I go. Oh, don't the say that. The music box. You'll just get the music box on that. 
<laughs> I'm giving that to you, Millie. Never unplug. <laughs> we gotta eat sister's. sometime. <laughs> I can't take this. With her away, you'd only be able to play for like a couple days, and then you die. <laughs> Unless you have like intravenous, like, like food. <laughs> I gave that. Oh, nice. To It's all right. I swear we'll save you. It's okay, Dorn. You're only gonna be dead for 99.999% of you the game. <laughs> I have right. no idea. Sword Art Online gets stuck there <laughs> and have to fight your way out. And if you die in it, you we'll die in real life. Trip to planet Earth shortly. <laughs> There's a room set up for you, so create mega supply so you can stay in for years. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, of course. Setting course for Sector Theta, point zero zero one, Mark 269, Warp 6. Look, Millie. It's magnificent. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's like an ocean of stars. Oh, the name. <laughs> to report to the Terran Alliance HQ. Something's coming right for what? Oh no! What is that? Where? What are you talking about? You have such good eyes. Whoa, where did that come from? Did it warp in or what? I don't think so, Captain. We did not detect any gravitational oscillation beforehand. I told you it was coming. You two were able to see it, Roddick? They can see invisible stuff. That's it. It's made of invisible matter. The entire ship? Captain, the unidentified ship that just appeared is hailing us. Open a channel. We come as emissaries from Lazonia. We have no desire to fight. Repeat. So, losing Doran and leaving your family. Zonia now she's leaving both. <laughs> Sucks for her. <laughs> that is correct. <clears throat> we were not willing participants in the war against Earth. The rumors of a third party working in the shadows of Lazonia were true then. A third party? Yes, they had us at the points of their swords. Their civilization is highly advanced. Ooh, dang! We have little idea what their goals are, but they have provided us with a wealth of new technology, including the virus. I think I understand what's happening. Regarding the viral weapon that was dropped on planet Roke, we'd like you to provide us with either a vaccine or the original host of the disease, if you could. I'm afraid we cannot. Oh, what? Jerks? We know that the virus has its origins in the Asmodeus, a creature that lived on planet Roke 300 years ago. Asmodeus? That's the Archfiend, the monster that was defeated in the Demonic Wars. Asmodeus. The stuff of legend, huh? Neither the vaccine nor the host exist in this universe any longer. I'm afraid there is little we can do about Planet Rogue. No! The government. <laughs> There's nothing to be done now. If there's no ready solution to the problem, we'll simply have to quarantine the planet Roke. No. What? You want to just watch our planet die? Roddick, calm down. The hell with that? We've done so much. Traveled all this way to help out our friends. And now what are we supposed to do? 
Who would have imagined they got the virus off Roke 300 years ago and just held it in storage all this time? There's no chance of finding the host now. The Alliance has decided to seal off Roke forever. There's nothing we can do but apologize. I'm so, so sorry. There is one chance. Now, isn't Roddick, he's like the ancestor of the people in Star Ocean it's just extremely unlikely it by Red or <coughs> Like isn't he an ancestor of someone? I can't remember who. You, or is someone else is Fate the ancestor of him? For planet Sticks, are you? I can't quite remember. I known you'd bring that place up. You'd have to be crazy to suggest that. I'll find a way to get us a ship. But sir, Tax season is upon us. There's still another option? Well, I hesitate to call it that. But if we use the time gate on planet Styx, there's a small chance. But Captain, you know the risks. Please tell us. We've got to know. I didn't hear any deployment orders, Captain. Well, I have. Let us through. Yes, sir. Do, 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 do. All set here. Ready to go when you are, Captain. Right. Close the entry hatch. Oh, Crow. Yeah, I knew it was somebody. Are two people enough for this? Oh, yeah. The computers do most of the work. Computer. Makes sense. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I, rem I remember um, us talking about that when I was playing well, through that game. Basically, uh, there are these tools that help people out with the difficult parts of their jobs. Anyway, let's get this thing off the ground. You do realize, Captain, that going to Planet Styx is all but guaranteeing ourselves a court-martial. Yep, worst case scenario, we'll all be in a labor camp for the rest of our lives, but too late to turn back now. All the bad luck in the world, I get stuck with you for a commanding officer. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. I may have a ton of bad luck, but that doesn't mean I'm reluctant to visit Planet Styx. I'll follow wherever you go, Captain. Just try not to lead me astray, all right? Huh. Four, one, two, anyway? five, three. Oh, so it's four. Crow from four. That is the ancestor of Roddick. It's a planet, just like Earth or Rogue. And then during an earlier deep space fate is like an, a descendant. Because, like, they have blue hair, right? Blue, yellow hair, blue, yellow hair. So, <laughs> like, they, they it's like how it <laughs> goes down, falls. <laughs> Something even like that. Into space. Well, actually, Something like that. I don't know. <laughs> there's so, there's so many integrations between each game. <laughs> oh, Faye has any connection? No, never mind then. <laughs> the time date. Nothing. <laughs> we'll use it to visit Roke in the past. <laughs> oh, so if we go back in time, we can retrieve the blood of Asmodeus. Then we can make the medicine we need, right? Ronix, Claude, Emerson. But Fate is just a random guy. <laughs> oh, never mind then. <laughs> That's hilarious. In so many words, yes. But we still Ronix, haven't Claude, and Emerson. How the time gate works. It's too dangerous to mess with, so it's been made strictly off limits. <laughs> Just some random dude. <laughs> That's hilarious. We'll be within orbiting range of Planet Sticks shortly. Right. Will it let us in, though? The Time Gate Guardian. The Living Gate. Planet Sticks. According to the Lazonian emissaries, a mysterious third party obtained the virus on Rook. 
Apparently, it all happened several hundred years ago. That it did. The level of technology they have must outclass anything we could even imagine. Isn't there like a portal here or something like that? Collect a portion of the host body. I think there's like. Assuming, of course, the gate will let us through in the oh, yeah, first place. Oh yeah, it's a gate. It's a portal gate. Oh, guardian of the time. Time gates. gates that's right. That's what they call it. Lend an ear to our humble request. We seek your guidance to the world of 300 years past. We wish to visit Rome <clears throat> as it was in old times. What's up, Tuki Lily? Tuki Lily, how are you doing? Yeah, they have a lot of connections I together. Here we go. <laughs> the video game is speaking to us. Oh, sweet! Thank you, computer. The whole franchise was created in Star Ocean 4. Yeah. The time gate, it's really just a computer. <laughs> Virtual reality computer. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> Thank you, Roddick. Are you sure you're all right? We must hurry. The gate is. Go, go, go. <laughs> they made it. Woo. Boop, boop, boop. Are you all right, Ilya? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Where is everyone else? I don't see them anywhere. They should be around here. Maybe. Then again, me tripping back there threw off our timing pretty badly. Chance we could do good distance well, way. We picked a good place to appear. Let's go look for them in this village first. Hang on. I, I just realized this outfit probably isn't going to work here. You're right. You'd stick out like a sore thumb. It's gonna sound creepy, but I remember you made the same sound of teleportation back in the first Star Wars First Departure video. <laughs> um, don't worry about it. Oh, it's no big deal, is it? So they'll think you're a bit strange. It sure is a big deal. Go find some clothing for me in town, could you? Thanks. <laughs> well, first things first, I gotta find some women's clothing. Now, there's three different types of clothing you can get here, right? You can buy it from the store, you can find it on like a pole, or you can ask somebody about it, right? I know there's like three different ways you can get the clothing. <laughs> I just annoyed Lily. <laughs> oh no! What can I do? <laughs> It's all good. 420. <laughs> nice. <laughs> this is around here. Come and rest a spell. Um, do you have any, have any women's clothing lying around? Mind letting me have them? Oh, sounds like you have some funny business. Well, perhaps I can help you with that. <laughs> These were the daughters before she got married. They're a mite frayed around the edges, but feel free to take them. Thank you very much. What is it, Derry? <clears throat> Let's give her these clothes. Let's see how. Ilya, 
I've got your clothes. Here you go. Thanks. Boom. How's she look? No I know there's now. like two or three different costumes you give her. Oh, that you could get different um, clothing for her? Yeah. There's like two or three different outfits you can get for her. So. Hmm. I'm sorry to complain, but this is just, just too, too small. small. What? Uh, well. I guess she's not going to oh. wear anything. Well, there's nothing else I can do. I can't. Let's hurry. We need to stock up on supplies and rendezvous with the captain. I thought you could get like different stuff for her. So Roddick asks random people for women's clothing, but when you go to expand the word, <laughs> old looking robes. I'm not really sure what just happened here. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know all the different things. I know that there's different things that could happen, but I think there's like two or three different clothes she could wear by. Like talking to different people or something like that, and I think you can get something off the laundry as well, but I can't remember everything. But I, I think I like remember looking it up later, and I was like, oh, how do I get the clothes? And it's like, oh, it can give you different things. Here's poison. Let's see, we could buy one though. Sure. Wait, did it not give me? One? Okay, there we go. Let's see what else. North is hot. So I can do the private action here. What's the private action? I'll try asking around to see if anybody's seen the captain. Was there a postal system on Roke 300 years ago? We used carrier pigeons to transport messages back and forth in my time. Well, not just pigeons. People used other animals, too? Yes, such as... <laughs> Sorry. I remember Millie tried to use a cat one time. I don't know why. I guess she really loved cat. How did that go? Terrible. The cat went missing for a few days, and we never did find out what happened to that letter. It doesn't take a genius to figure out what would happen. Kind of loopy Aww, that way. It would have been nice if it worked. What? You want a carrier cat? Hmm, that's weird. What? Personal action. I have a feeling that someone's talking about me behind my back. <laughs> oh well, never mind. We need to find a town, don't we? Oh, right. Yeah. I know you've got your symbology or whatever, but I'm totally defenseless here. With no equipment, no weapons, nothing. Don't worry. I'll help you pick out something to impress the ladies once we find a town. Uh, thanks. Heard there was a town north of here. Let's go check it out. Sounds good. Is there any other private actions I could do here? Might as well see if there's anything else. Nope. Nothing else. Yeah, I remember the private actions being like, you have to go check everything just in case, like with every single person, in case there's something. <laughs> Look out! Give us a little fun, huh? She get a meteor palm? Guess 
guess it really it's was over. that simple. I got anything new for him? Nothing new yet. Hmm. Still nothing. When can I start getting those books to actually give him new skills and stuff? Look out! I guess I he gotta go to the next town to go up. buy one. Oh, Firestorm Blade. There we go. We got something now. Uh, next town onwards? Yeah. That's good. At least I got another skill until then. Firestorm Blade! There we go. I'm gonna save, too. Haven't saved in a while. Haven't saved in a good spell for, like, 30 minutes. <laughs> Get him! Yeah, yeah. Oh, he already ran out. <laughs> Run out of MP so fast. Guess it really was that simple. Firestorm blade. Look out! This ought to be a good fight. Oh gosh! Getting rocked! Oh no! Oh, don't die! Don't die! Woo! Hide him! Woo! Oh really? Only... Only that much? Only 12? Blueberries, there we go. Yeah, that's much better. Whew. Well, I'd it's say over. that's worth 10 out of 10. The first thing we need to do is visit all the nearby settlements. The captain's bound to turn up in one of them. Sounds good to me. There's the sword guy. Whatever his name is. That ain't true. I can't even Stop remember it. Uh, yeah, this guy. I had him on my team last time. Some kesper has got no respect. I'll be on my dad. Si Sias, yeah. Sias, Sias, yeah. I had him on my team last time. I wonder if I should get him again or if I should get that other person, the girl that you can get instead. Sure, let's rest real quick. Need health. Yeah, th so I can talk to him. Or I can decide not to talk to him. Should I go for Seas or should I go for someone else? He's a pretty good character, right? Ashley. Fia later in the game, too. Yeah. Should I get Ashley or should I get Seas? Does it really matter? <laughs> I guess not. Sure, yes. Oh, okay. I told him the right way? <laughs> I hope I did. I just told him what... <laughs> I probably told him the wrong way. Just buy a, one of each food. Sure for cooking skills. Adam, I 
heard you were looking for someone to run an errand for you over to Portman. Yeah, I've got some cargo I need delivered from the Portmouth weapon shop, but I can't find anyone handy who'd be up to the job. It's been kind of tough to cross Mount Maytorks lately, hasn't it? Well, I'll let you know if I find anyone who can help. Welcome. Nothing yet. Get Roddick's ultimate powers. Ooh! <laughs> ultimate powers. That sounds neat. Gonna get all the skill books. I can give him skills now, right? Let's see. Learn skill. Okay, what should I give him? What's best for ability and shape of paper? Raise intelligence by three. Herbology. Raise blueberries and blackberries by 3% per level. Resilience. Raise con by two per level. Raise strength by 10 per level. Herbology is good because of that, the healing, right? Yeah, I remember that being like super good for healing. <clears throat> Isn't one of them like to give you an extra point every time? Randomly boost attack power. Herbology, let's see. Maybe I should give um, some resilience as well. Because it raises by two per level. Mm hmm. For sure. Just gonna give him some resilience. What the? Oh, I have to switch between it like this. <laughs> I'm gonna give her that strength thing. Okay, specialties, nope. Super specialties, nope. Item creation. Special blade to forge an area in the world map for useful items costs 4 MP per attempt. Oh, it's on the world map, so I can't do it yet. Okay. Perfect. Napoleo, who was the first person you used for your first Star Ocean first departure playthrough? Was it Cius? Was it Ashley? Or was it someone else? I see, I see. Well, I'd say Over. that's worth ten out of ten. Oh dang. Let's go! Give us 
a little fun, huh? Firestorm Blade! Firestorm Blade! Oh, okay. And you like Aerith too. Well, I'd say that's worth 10 out nice. Of 10. Maybe I'll go for that too. Maybe I'll go Ashley and Yoshua. I know you need CS to be able to. Oh, there's the. That's the hard mine. That's got like strong. What the? That's got like hard enemies in it. I remember not to go in there because it's super, super difficult. Keep focused, everyone. Can we win Makes this? sense. When am I gonna get meteor palm? Need Meteor Palm. <laughs> Badly. <laughs> Does she have it yet? No Meteor Palm, no. give him knife too. Just so they can both get strength per level. still think that's better. Just getting the extra strength per level, I think will help more in the long run. Even though, like, Herbology is really great at the beginning. This ought to be a good... Here they come! Ha! Firestorm Blade! Firestorm Blade! Firestorm Blade! Aw, uh, over already? Oh man, it's already 10 o'clock my time. Dang, it's getting pretty late. Maybe after we get out of Mount Matorx. That'll probably be the end of the stream tonight. Just a reminder for everybody, to enter into this month's giveaway for a chance to win a $20 Google Play gift card, you have to like this video, be a subscriber, and say... A Star Ocean character. Any Star Ocean character. It could even be Ilya or Roddick or Millie or it could be anybody. <laughs> 10 a.m. there? Oh, nice, Napoleo. <laughs> so I woke you up with a cool stream at like 8 o'clock this morning for you. <laughs> nice. Remember, for anybody that is just watching this for the first time no, or pain. just started into the stream, it could be you can say it in the stream or you can comment later. Just make sure you do it and don't forget to do that. Oh no! Shockwave swirl! already? 9.59 p.m. Oh, that's... So you're in the same time zone as me. Yeah. Cool. Let's see...
think a power burst is good too. Yeah. What's up, Pa Ong? Pa Pa Ong? Pa Ang? I don't know. How, you'll have to let me know which is the right way to to say your name. Pa Ang. I'm guessing, but I'm not 100% sure, so I'll stop saying it. <laughs> but welcome, welcome. Oh, Hopefully you're doing awesome and amazing. Almost about to nap. Woo! Nice yes, ultra flash player. Glad you enjoyed it for being here for the most part. Way before me and <laughs> way before you and Star Ocean first departure are. No, way before you. <laughs> Darn. I have a ways to go then. Let's see, where's the next town? Let's get right outside the next town and then that'll be the end of the stream. As so long as I get to the next place. Woo, guts! Ooh! Oh, Palm of Destruction! Ooh, we got our first skill! <laughs> Finally! Meteor Palm! Palm of Destruction! Haha! <laughs> Look! She actually got something! <laughs> okay, let's give her some skills. Do -do -do. Oops. Wait, I have to switch. Herbology's still good. I just think strength's so much better. I don't know. I like the I like the more strength. <laughs> I know it's risky, but just the more strength per level. I like that. <laughs> I like being super strong. Okay, here's the next town. This ought to be a good Here fight. They come. Palm of destruction. Palm of destruction. <laughs> Look, she's doing something for the first time ever. Simple. Nice. <laughs> Gotta build up those skills. Nothing new here. Yeah, I'll keep that for now. This looks like a good stop in place. We we did a we did a good amount today. We got to coal, cool. It, or I can't even remember. I can't remember what town this is. <laughs> I can't remember it all. So we'll stop right here. <laughs> I think I'm saying the wrong town name from the last place. Pickpocketing. Oh, courage. Oh. Maybe I'll have to do some pickpocketing then. Hold on one second. Let's let's give him some pickpocketing skills. Pickpocketing, courage. Boom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is a pretty great game. Haven't played this. It's a really fun game. I'm really enjoying it. I've I've played a, about a third of the way through before. Not on First Departure R, but on Star Wars First Departure on my phone. And uh, I, I want to actually beat it this time, so <laughs> it'll be fun to actually go through it. And something else? Okay. <clears throat> Where can you play this? PS4 um, is for this version. You can play the original Star Ocean for Sparcher on your phone um, and on PlayStation. 
But yeah, this is for this is for PS4, the Star Wars first part Gerard. It's pretty awesome. But if you miss you lose affection if you use it on your friends. Oh, that's not good. Using it on my friends. So you could use it on your own teammates. Dang. <laughs> I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe, come back for more content. The winner for last month's giveaway, one last reminder, is Fola Fola Alawode. I think that's how you say it. I'll, I'll reach out to Fola Alawode later. But anyways, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, come back for more content, and say a Star Ocean character to enter into this month's giveaway. Like, subscribe, and say a Star Ocean character's name inside the comments or, you know, just before I end the stream. Either way, <laughs> as long as you say it, in the month of January 2020. This has been Malvar one Good night, everybody. Thanks for being so awesome. Bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs>